Hello! Shoya here. I'm a carpenter based in Japan. I'm installing the Funazoko ceiling in the second floor loft and stairwell area today, which looks like an upside down houseboat. Today, I am working on the second floor ceiling. Scaffolding is necessary for a ceiling installation, so I set it up. Once the scaffolding is up, I retighten the bolts, which is the most important step. The bolts were tightened during framing, but they loosen after 2 to 3 months. The nut usually turns around once or twice if you retighten it. Before I forget, I retighten the bolts once I have set up the scaffolding. I install furring strip supports on the walls covered with an air barrier membrane. This support positions the furring strips 15 cm away from the wall and prevents them from sticking to the membrane. Boy. Now, I install the ridge beam at the bottom of the boat. The slope can be calculated after the ridge beam is installed and the lowest point is determined. I install the ridge beam first as a starting point. Since there's a lot, this ceiling was supposed to be a mansard, which is common nowadays. Whether it's a mansard or a funasoko ceiling, the lower part is the same height. We call a mansard ceiling koshiore in Japanese. It is sloped but horizontal at the top. However, the disadvantage of a mansard ceiling in this house is that the slopes on both sides get in the way when climbing the loft ladder. That's not good at all, so it was changed to a funazoko at the last minute. The highest part of the funazoko ceiling is called a ridge beam, munagi in Japanese. The wood used for the actual boat's bottom is called niyoshi. In Chinese characters, it's written water and push. It's like a curved bead holding the planks in place at the boat's bottom. Even though Funasoko refers to the bottom of a boat, the top timber is called a ridge beam because it's for a building. It feels a bit strange. <clears throat> this building has a large pine beam above where the ridge beam is to be installed. To support the structure, and the ridge beam will be secured under it. The ridge beam and the pine beam have different widths. So the ceiling frames can be installed if the ridge beam is directly attached to the pine beam. To slightly lower the ridge beam and prevent overlapping with frames, I use 40mm square timber as a support. In general, a ridge beam is installed in an upward curve. This time, the upper pine beam is ideally curved upward. I install the ridge beam to match that curve. I use a laser level to measure the ceiling's lower location. A laser level is not required if you can see the frame. But air barrier membranes are installed and tape attached to the walls, so it's hard to find the top and bottom edges of the frames. Therefore, I'm using a laser to determine the level. Next, I draw a slope line from the ridge beam I have just installed. So the slope is slightly gentler than the roof. The roof is 14.5 degrees, and the ceiling slope will be about 12 degrees. I cut the top and bottom of the ceiling frame diagonally according to the slope. Other frames just need to be installed sideways without cutting diagonally, which is easy.
The wood for the ceiling is 12mm cedar plank and will be installed diagonally upwards. So I install the ceiling frame at right angles to the planks. As the plank is 12mm thick, 360mm to 400mm spacing is fine. It doesn't need to be narrow, 300mm is okay. I frame in balance spacing. <laughs> Basically, a Funasoko ceiling can only be installed on the second floor or on the lean to. Since it is raised on the slope, it can't be installed on the first floor unless the flat beams are at least in a high location. Sloped ceiling requires heights. That's why it could be only installed under the lean-to or second floor roof. The wood beam for a Funazoko ceiling was traditionally made of cherry logs with an outer bark of pine or something similar attached. In some cases, a square cherry timber was used with its corners tampered and covered with bamboo. A variety of such products used to be available, but I don't think there are any more. Those products may be stored in an old warehouse, but I don't think they are used now. Now, I categorize the ceiling planks. We call this process Yuru. As a literal translation, it means come near, which sounds strange. Fishermen categorize fish by type, such as squid, seaweed, and horse mackerel. For carpenters, we were told to Yoru nails if they were mixed up, which means categorizing them according to lengths. This time, they are planks. The quality of some of them varies, but I will categorize them first according to their color. This building will have cedar plank ceilings in three rooms, so I would like to categorize and install three colors of plants in each room. One with all light, one with all dark, and one with a mixture of light and dark plants. For this Funazoko ceiling, I will only use light colored plants from the sample side. Now, I install it. I used 4mm staples and glue in the previous video to install the Noki 10. I install the planks in the same way. I'm using two staples to secure the plank to the frame, but there is no need to use a flooring stapler. Thank you. 
ますThe next room also uses planks for the ceiling. This room's ceiling is horizontal. I'm using the same planks in the first room, but their colors are dark. However, it doesn't mean they're entirely dark. In order of darkness, I sort and install the planks within the entire room. In the first ceiling, I installed the planks in order of lightness, so it is the other way around this time. In the third room, I will install planks with a mix of dark and light colors. So this room's planks are not completely dark in color. If there were 30 bundles of planks for a house, I would sort all the planks by color, install the darkest and lightest planks on both edges, and make the middle room a mix of dark and light colors. It is sorted to be a gradation. I have finished installing the Funazoko ceiling on the second floor loft and the stairwell area. Only cedar sapwood planks are used. The bottom of the boat is facing upward. Does it look like it? That's all for today. Thanks for watching.